welcome to part one of this video series. Welcome to the Power BI Receipts Approval App series of demo videos. The Receipts Approval App is a Power BI report that makes use of many of the Power Platform tools, including Power Apps, Power Automate Cloud, Excel Online, and the Excel Office Script language. In this part one video, I will introduce the various component parts of the app. In the next three videos, I will go into more depth explaining each of those components. There are three pages in the report, the first two of which operate as a user interface and control panel for the two users. The users are an approval manager and an employee who records requests his business receipts to be approved. The approval manager uses page two of the report to add his comments regarding the newly added receipts. The employee uses page one to interact with the report. This app was built to demonstrate how to use the flow button feature, Power Apps and Office Scripts within a Power BI report. The functionality provided by Power Automate, Power Apps and Office Scripts, all within this Power BI report, gives it the functionality of an app. So it is more than a report the report itself can be changed by the users. That is, new data can be added directly from the report. This app behaves similarly to a website application that, that provides a user input form that links to a back-end data source with a graphical representation of the data. Power BI provides for alerts when your data changes, but this feature is limited to working on only a few visuals. Adding a flow button process enables the Power BI report maker to design effectively custom alerts according to their own specifications, far beyond existing alerts functionality. The flow button visual in Power BI provides for an additional trigger not available directly from within the Power Automate tool. This additional flow trigger is called Power BI button clicked. Let's now have a look at page one. In the top left hand corner, we have a table visual that displays the receipts table from an Excel workbook hosted currently on OneDrive. To the top right hand corner is the Employee Receipts Power App. This app enables the employee to add receipts to the Excel table. Directly below the Power App are two flow buttons. Both do the same thing but using different technologies. This is for demo purposes. One uses Office Scripts, the other uses the flow connectors and a predefined Power BI measure. In the bottom left hand corner, there's a card visual displaying the calculated measure, showing the maximum date within the date column of the receipts table. This visual is updated each time a receipt is added to the Excel table. This is achieved by using a cloud flow as follows. The flow only works after the report has been published to the web service. Let's now have a look at that flow in more depth. So we can see the trigger is when a file is modified in OneDrive. Um, after that, uh, a variable is uh, initialized. That's to capture the name so that uh, in the next step, we can test the name um, to see if it contains the word receipts um, because the file is called receipts.xlsx. And if true, uh, we then refresh uh, the Power BI dataset uh, for that report. Um, and then if that uh, refresh fails, we post a message uh, notifying us uh, the, the report author that the dataset uh, refresh failed. In page two, the manager comments page, the approval manager uses the Power App in the top right hand corner of their page to add their comment pertaining to the set of records sent to him in his email and Teams approval push notification. Once entered, the manager clicks the flow button on the page. This in turn notifies the employee that there's a new manager comment. It could have been the case that the flows behind each of the flow buttons was triggered not by manual button press, but by the OneDrive connector on change event initiated by the Power App. But the purpose of this demo app is to show the use of flow buttons, as well as the other Power Platform tools, i.e. 
Power Apps and Office Scripts and how they operate within and, and enhance a Power BI report. The, the Approvals Push Notification appears in the manager's flow activity channel in Teams. The Approval Connector is used to generate the Approval Notification Request. The manager can approve or reject the receipts using the Approve and Reject button supplied. In addition to this, the manager also receives an email produced by the same approval connector and can reject or approve from within the email instead. Page three of the report is a charts page currently displaying four visuals, two cards, one bar chart and one tree map. Selecting any given item within the tree map or bar chart automatically changes the totals displayed in the cards.